Coming at number five is the Red Cat Blackout XTE. Another thing about this car, I like the um, drive, front drive shaft because it's dog bones, not plastic. Because usually I have a problem with, like, I never mess these, mess the drive shafts up on this because it's dog bones. So that's, that's the, why I know, another reason why this is one of my favorites. So this would be a budget RC. It actually came with dog bones instead of plastic, a plastic front wheel drive shaft. Cars, because it's cheap. It's very cheap. I swapped it out for a 3S system. I got an 80 amp ESC. And I believe this is like a 3600 kV motor. You got the factory, factory um servo in here. I have no fan. I upgraded the motor. I upgraded the center drive shaft. The thing about this is I had to switch the tires out. These tires go to the volcano. But this car. Pretty good adjustable shock oil filled shocks. But it's real easy to break. It's real easy, it's real flimsy. You can't do too. You can do I wrote wrote them hot I drive this rough, but not too rough. Because you gotta be careful. And it's hard to work on. Just to take the uh switch out the motor, you gotta take so much stuff off. You gotta take this top plate off. You got to take a couple things off before you get to the motor, which makes it a little lot hard to work on. And to get to the rear differentials, same thing. It's so much to do before you get to that. It's a lot of work. But for the price of this car, can't beat it. Can't beat it. Budget, budget RC, hobby grade. You can upgrade it. You can make this, try to make it bulletproof, you know, get everything, get aluminum, but then you're going to um, add weight to the truck. So then it takes away from the performance. But this is, what, this is in fifth place, the Blackout XTE. Now for the Blackout XTE overall rating. Now it gets uh nine in handling nine and a half in stable actually it gets a uh, eight in stable durability it gets an eight parts availability um parts are available but it's hard to work on maintenance is a little hard when you want to get into the disc change the motor out gets a little complicated so that gets a eight. Overall, we give the blackout a solid eight. The retail price on a blackout XTE. Now on to the next. What's my number four? Number four is number four is the Hoss. is a pretty good car i had no only problem i had was the drive shafts but other than the drive shafts no problems you know i got this custom body on there the body it come with is pretty sturdy also underneath the hood you got the um stock stock system in there you have a stock servo esc and motor all vxl 3s only thing I had to do with this vehicle is replace the front drive shaft and the rear drive shafts. Price for this car at retail. This car rating is I gave it a nine in handling, 
non unstable. No, actually, it get a 10 in handling, nine and a half in stable. Durability, it gets a nine. The power, power system gets a 10. You can find parts wherever you, you know, anywhere, go to the Traxxas dealer, any hobby shop online, Amazon, you can find the parts all over the place. So as for maintenance on the car, it get a 10. But this is this is my number four car. So what do we got in number three? What hits the number three spot? It'll be the the Big Rock, Armor's Big Rock. This is the V2. thing I like about the big rock I like the body the body is pretty sturdy the body is very sturdy now what you what comes with the big rock you get the 3s system you get the this is a spectrum system this came with the BLX but I uh, made it put it a spectrum in it but this is a 3,200 kV motor and 100 amp ESC, 3S. I um, switched the servo out. It got a 20 uh, Amazon servo. I got a cheap servo off Amazon, 25 kV. Now with this, you got adjustable shocks, oil filled shocks, but I upgraded the shocks. You got adjustable turnbuckles front and rear adjustable sir uh steering adjustable buckles in the back only thing i don't like about this is the drive shaft always comes to the drive shaft i broke the drive shaft and i broke the slipper slip slipper clutch in this car but i had this for a good while but this is a good running vehicle is is durable just the drive shaft it's about the same as the big rock like the big rock i mean the same as the the horse it's in the same category with the horse with me basically but the only reason i chose to put this in the third spot is because i had it for longer but the horse and the big rock is kind of on the same level with me the horse bait really is a little more stabler in driving with the original parts but these is neck and neck. So, but the rating on the big rock get a ten in handling, nine and a half in stable. Durability nine and a half. Maintenance it's easy to work on. Easy to find parts. So that gets basically a ten. And this is the price of the big rock at retail. Comes at number three, and my rate on it is nine. Second car of mine, it'll be the the Bandit VLX Brushes 3S. Reason why the band, you know, this is a two wheel drive car. This car shocked me. I did not, ha I had no idea this car performed the way it performed. So basically, it got the Traxxas Billenium VXL System 3S. I 
added a fan to the motor and I added a fan to the ESC. It got the stock. Everything is stock on this car. Stock servo, stock ESC, the stock motor. I added a Willy bar. Oops. Added a Willy bar, added a fan, and I added a um, front bumper. Also added, added LEDs. When I add the LED off a new RC, I just get it must start it off pretty good. Thing about I like about this car, it got an upgraded transmission. It got a new body from Traxxas, but I really like the upgraded transmission. That transmission is the truth. The chassis is plastic. You know what I mean? Got adjustable turn buckles, adjustable buckles in the back. It has um. You know, see that the steering is, is real tight. Stock pinion, stock everything. Only thing is, got um, door tracks, lock up C2s on here, which these tires are starting to wear out more, wear out. But the factory tires, they literally gonna run out your, either your first run or your second run, it depends on how hard you run it. So the tires on these that starts off on here is not good at all. Everything else is plus. Only problem I have again is the plastic drive shafts, which y'all continuously hear me complain about. But it's still nothing. All you gotta do is upgrade them. I ride mine's kind of rough on the street deal. I'm not jumping them, but how I drive them, that's where I have problems at. Now let's get to the rating on this. Bandit gets a 10 in handling, 10 in stable, 9.5 durability, 10 in maintenance. Because the parts are available, easy to find, loads of upgrades. So this definitely get a 10. This is the price of the bandit at retail. Bandit is a great RC. I love it to death. Next to my favorite 3S systems. But the number one, who hits the number one spot is. You probably guessed it already. Arma Typhon 3S. my favorite car because this had this had this for a while it's very dirty inside now thing about this car which makes this my number one 3s car for one the power system the blx system i had this is all stock i had this same system exact esc and motor in it for the past four years only problems I had with this was the drive shaft, which that's why I say I kind of get, it's a good car. This is a, the best you can get for a budget. This wasn't expensive. I bought it in a Mega, and then I made it to a 3S, and it haven't let me down yet except for the drive shaft. I didn't, I didn't slip the spur gear. I didn't break anything else on this, but the drive shaft, the plastic drive shaft. Didn't blow any diffs. You know, me personally, this car, I don't know. This is the best one I got. I got, I mean, this is not the best one I have. This is all based on my opinions. But this one is far my favorite. This is the one of my favorites, my most favorite 3S car. This thing is dirty as hell. I didn't know it was this dirty. I got to clean it all. The rest of them was all pretty on the inside. This one is super dirty. Because I run this a lot. I run this off camera a lot, on camera a lot. I just run this car. But let's start. Let's let me tell you the rating for this vehicle right here. Now for my number one spot, the Armor Typhon 3S. The overall rating, 10 in handling, 10 in stable, nine and a half in durability. Easy to work on. So that's an easy 10. Parts are available. Upgrades are available. That's why I got so many different things on here. Got so many upgrades. So, you know, that get a 10.
pricing on this car when I originally bought it was the Mega. So I'm going to give you the Mega pricing of the car.